The American criminal justice system has uniformity throughout the 50 states as well as the federal system. Everything begins with the police investigation. Law enforcement, regardless of whether they're local, state, or federal authorities, investigate reported criminal activity. That can be activity that occurred in the past, that is ongoing in the present, or that is about to occur in the future. Different types of reported criminal activity call for different types of investigative techniques. Once police have enough information that leads them to conclude there is reason to believe or probable cause that an individual committed a crime, that is sufficient to make an arrest. Once an individual has been arrested by police, they are brought before a court for what is known as the arraignment. At an arraignment, four important things occur. First, the court officially informs the defendant of the criminal charges that have been alleged against him. Second, the defendant is called upon to plead or answer the charges. Everyone pleads not guilty at arraignment. Third, the court is called upon to determine an individual's bail. In other words, the judge must decide what to do with the defendant between the beginning of the case, which is at arraignment, and when the case ends, which may be many weeks, months, if not years later. Some individuals are released solely on their promise to return to court. We call that personal recognizance. Some individuals are required to post money or abide by certain conditions in exchange for their release. And others are unfortunately required to remain detained or held with no bail. The fourth and final thing that occurs at an arraignment is that the judge ensures that the individual defendant has legal counsel. Some individuals hire private counsel prior to arraignment and are present with an attorney for this important event. Other individuals have plans to hire counsel in the near future. Those without adequate financial resources to retain a lawyer may apply for the appointment of counsel, either through the public defender's office or the local bar, whereby attorneys volunteer to receive court appointments to provide indigent legal representation.